one of the most influential companies in artificial intelligence just took a big step toward bringing robotics to the masses. With a former Tesla Optimus engineer at the helm, they're racing toward a future where anyone can build a humanoid robot just like this without leaving home. Hugging Face, a prominent AI development platform, has acquired the French startup Pollen Robotics. Founded in 2016, Pollen is mostly known for its open-source humanoid robots like the Ricci 2, its flagship product. The Bordeaux-based startup unveiled its first iteration of Ricci back in 2020 and the second version at CES 2025 in Las Vegas. Their ultimate goal is to design robots that people can easily 3D print and assemble on their own. Today, the humanoid robot's frame, including the arms and torso, can be 3D printed with STL files on GitHub. Other critical parts like actuators, sensors, electronics, and some mechanical assemblies must be sourced separately. The modular robot is priced around $70,000 and is primarily intended for academic research, education, and testing embodied AI applications. It's already in use at institutions like Cornell and Carnegie Mellon. The robot's height is adjustable, ranging from 136 to 166 centimeters. Hugging Face is joining a growing number of companies and open source projects actively developing 3D printable robots. French sculptor Gail Langevin introduced in Move, which is widely recognized as the first fully open source, 3D printable, life sized humanoid robot back in 2012. Other notable examples include OpenCat, a quadruped inspired by feline motion, and the IGIS Humanoid Open Platform, a child sized humanoid for academic research. However, the Hugging Face initiative is arguably the most aggressive attempt yet at commercializing 3D printable robots at scale. Ricci 2 perceives the world with two high-quality cameras in its head that work together like human eyes, giving it 3D vision. It also has a depth sensor that helps it understand how far away things are for up to 5 meters, with enough detail and speed to track movement smoothly and interact safely with its environment. Ricci 2 also hears like a human with two lavalier Go professional microphones built into its antennas. A custom speaker with a powerful amplifier is in its abdomen for communicating with users. The robot's patented orbiter system facilitates three degrees of freedom in the neck for human-like head movements and expressions. Each arm has seven degrees of freedom and can lift up to three kilograms. It comes equipped with torque-controlled grippers with the ability to integrate alternatives like options from Aloha and Inspire's dexterous hand. The Ricci 2 gets around with its three-wheeled base that supports a payload of up to 80 kilos. Smart sensors in the wheels track motion while a LiDAR scanner maps surroundings for safe navigation. The platform runs on ROS2 middleware and is compatible with simulation tools like Gazebo and Mujoko for virtual testing and development. A Python SDK is available for custom programming and integrations. Its computing is powered by a solid-run bedrock fanless industrial PC. AI processing can be offloaded to external hardware like cloud services or a user-provided GPU. Ricci 2 runs for up to 10 hours on a single charge. The robot is designed to become fully operational approximately a minute and a half after its unboxing. Financial terms of the acquisition were not disclosed. According to PitchBook, Pollen Robotics has raised about $2.6 million in funding over three rounds, including grants from the European Union and the EIC Fund. New York-based Hugging Face is valued at $4.5 billion. The company raised $235 million in an August 2023 Series D funding round, which included investments from major tech companies like Salesforce, Google, Amazon, NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, and IBM. The acquisition is part of Hugging Face's Open Robotics Initiative, which is led by former Tesla engineer Remy Kadeem. The engineer joined Hugging Face in March 2024 after spending nearly three years at Tesla, where he contributed to the Autopilot and Optimus humanoid robot projects. Since joining Hugging Face, 
Kadeen has spearheaded the launch of LaRobot, an open-source robotics library that's become a central hub for robotics development. Under his leadership, the company has expanded its focus from AI software to include robotics hardware. Hugging Face says it envisions robotics as the next frontier of artificial intelligence, emphasizing open-source principles to make robotics accessible, affordable, and customizable. The company has transformed dramatically since it was founded as a chatbot app for teenagers almost a decade ago. In 2018, Hugging Face shifted its focus significantly to developing open source tools for natural language processing and machine learning. Its Transformers library is credited with democratizing access to state-of-the-art artificial intelligence models. Through an intuitive interface, users could access thousands of pre-trained models across tasks like text classification, translation, summarization, and generation. Hugging Face previously collaborated with Pollen back in 2024 to integrate the robot into Ricci 2. The company also partnered with The Robot Studio, a French independent robotics workshop founded by Rob Knight, a veteran humanoid robot designer. Through the collaboration, they released the SO100 high-performance robotic arm priced around $100 for do-it-yourselfers. Some guests coming. Can you go to the entrance to welcome them and give them entree pass, please? Mm -hmm. Another rising French startup recently unveiled its next-generation anime-inspired humanoid robot. If Enchanted Tools reaches its goals, there will be at least 100,000 of these robots roaming around within a decade. For more on that, check the related video.